All right, all right. This one is called This Webtoon Glorifies the R Word. Hmm, what, do you, what do you mean the R Word? Recently, that word has been leaking out. I've been spamming that word, man. I feel naughty, but <laughs> I'm kind of down with the return of these words, but forbidden words. But hey, what does this Webtoon tell me from Mr. Chalupa? I don't really got an intro. Let's just get straight into this. All right. I just saw some comments saying it was bad. So why shouldn't I dive into this? The king in the past. All right. All right. Let, let me read this comment first. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You should do locked onto you next. If you can't see that. The promotion for it literally says her type is a red flag and it's a romance. <laughs> and the comments are false. Not like my favorite color is red. Yes. I live webtoon red flags. Um, it is also implied... Oh, that's the R word we're talking about. He also threats... Okay. So, it's a web... I wonder who the author is. Based on this, I have a feeling that this is a male power fantasy of looking for a batshit crazy girl that wants to be abused. It seemingly is the theme of this webtoon based on this comment. Dad, so why shouldn't I dive into this? The King and the Paladin is a webtoon of which I am not familiar with at all. Okay. But I still want some idea of what I'm getting myself into, so I'll just read the summary here and hope <laughs> I get something. Don't you dare expect kindness from me! Gentle and noble paladin oh. Ezekiel Nix is shocked to find out that he has been sold off to Mary Blay. How could Calliope, this be? The vicious tyrants that single-handedly seize the kingdom of Alphensia. Damn. But it turns out Deep the lore. two knew each other from childhood. <gasps> and the tyrant holds a seething grudge. Whoa, against Ezekiel. plot twist. Will Ezekiel be able to clear the air and mend their relationship? Or will he be forever trapped to live a life of bondage and what? misery? <laughs> wait, wait, what do you mean? What do you mean bondage and misery? Hold up, hold up. So, I take back what I said in the intro. I thought it was a male power fantasy. And it still could be for the Masochist, but it's sounding like the one getting abused is this knight Ezekiel. And there's like a villainess. There's like this crazy powerful woman who is actually a childhood friend. Maybe not childhood friend, but like a past they have shared together. And she hates him. So <laughs> he's going to be sent into the dungeon? And misery! And then there's these disclaimers about the webtoon with Yikes. words that YouTube will not let me say. Well, either way, it's a webtoon, so it probably still has a loyal fan base. Whoa! <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that a good score? I am not a frequent uh, webtoon reader, so I have no idea of like a rating score, but I'm going to assume it's out of 5. A 4.04 out of 5 sounds pretty damn good. Stars. So out of 10? It's got to be out of 5, right? 801 comment. Is, I mean, is that a lot? I don't know. The Webtoon folk gave it four stars. The same people who gave this a higher score. 7.58. All right, all right. So that's a pretty low score then. It is out of 10. Then that's fucking really bad. What is this? The princess's jewels? Yo, what, yo, what is my people over at this? What, what are my South Koreans doing in my motherland right now? Should I be reading this shit in my free time? This a higher score. The same people mm. who gave this a high- <laughs> Ecstasy Hearts 9. Oh wow. Sports tag. Sports? Look, how- Is it like battle shonen sports? Or is it just like- What kind of sports are they playing, bro? Higher score. The same people who- Oh no, get out of here, furries! Oh, never mind. <laughs> Four stars on Webtoon. Yeah. I know what a three star one looks like, <laughs> but as for a four star one? I, we, that's really setting the stage up. And I just realized <laughs> that dude has a collar on his neck. Hold on a second. I should have seen that. I should have immediately taken notice of that. So, so she is going to be just dominating this night. Well, the only way to find out is by reading the thing. So. All right. Let's read Wish it. Wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. No! 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 Episode one. Oh boy. We're first treated to a woman clenching a guy's shirt or something. Oh, Doesn't seem wow. important.
The story actually starts with this woman ruthlessly beheading a king right in Jesus. front of his siblings, and then sending said siblings to be executed, insulting them as they're being dragged to certain doom. Yo, this now, queen is a nasty. little flashback as to why she did all that, being that she was bullied relentlessly by them when they were kids. Okay. And they also... That, that's it? I mean, what their mother did was bad. She Look at the art, bro. She is an absolute demon. So looks like they're establishing some reasons as to why this queen, this girl who dominates, has a reason to like kill other people. So she's like a victim of bullying. Got it. Sure, but they were kids at the time. The story doesn't say if they were still like this grown up. So for all we know, they learned from their mistakes as kids and became the golden members of society. Nah, 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 nah. We need a reason to just be able to do heinous shit. Therefore, bullying past flashback easy. But little Miss Homelander cannot let go of the past. So she gets them back by ruining everything. She then says that someone named Ezekiel, who she loved, left mm. in search of a better life with some noble lady. Boy, that sure does suck for her. But I'm sure she'll get over Ezekiel, someone nope. who she knew as a kid, and try to be better. Nope. Why, why did the music stop? You tell why me. Why is this music playing? You put the music Hello? in. What's happening? What did I say? Is it... Is she coming for am us? Am I wrong? Oh, come on! We cut to a conversation. So, like, hold on. Ezekiel's sins is that he left her to find a better life? Right? Because, like, what the hell did he do? Brother Ezekiel left the abbey with the noble lady of his own accord. He must be trying to become the concubine of an old rich noble in search for a better life. Yeah, Ezekiel's a sugar baby, man. He's a little fucking priest slut. <laughs> like, what are you doing? But, all right, so that he leaves her, and then she gets mad that, like, he left her. And now what? We cut to a conversation between two cloaked figures seemingly trying to look for a family. Then we see these two girls talking about said cloaked figures and simping for one of them, which- <laughs> The dialogue. But look, even his jawline is sharper than those potatoes around us. That's true. Oh my god, Ezekiel fucking locked in. Simping for one of them, wishing he would just take it. I wish he'd just take his hood off for a moment. You damn- Wait, this, this this feels like a different fucking world, like an opposite world where guys are just like being treated as fucking meat. And then the girls are just catcalling me like, come on, little boy, show me that jawline. Where are you going? His hood off. Surely, surely this isn't setting up for anything. <laughs> He was called over by a cardinal for a very okay. urgent matter, and said urgent matter is that the guy is being sold off to, of all the countries in their verse, the uh. one she's running. Oh, oh no. Man. Considering what she did to these guys who bullied her, what will she do in the case of abandonment? The R word. All I'll say is this, man. If she gets you in a room alone, prepare to use every ounce of stamina those legs have and run! Everyone is shocked that Ezekiel is related to a duke and are excited at the idea of becoming more successful since Ezekiel is going to inherit the duke name. Ezekiel, That's however, gold is diggers. going into this treading lightly since he heard that the one who requested him is a ruthless new king that takes everything by force. Wait, hold on. Just a little something that's bothering me. Uh -huh. Why is she called a king and not a queen? I don't Doesn't know. that basically admit that kings are and always have been superior to queens? So well, fate does that shit too. It's King Artoria, not Queen Artoria. So much so that she called herself a king instead? Because if so, you're absolutely right. Kings are always better than a queen. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. As his that is actually insane. If his audience is actually 53.8% female, that is an unreal spread. The content he's making, hold up. I got to check this out. That's actually impressive let's see it's webtoon content right freaky tennis webtoon webtoon content and a lot of these webtoon content i think kind of like <laughs> quote unquote sexualizes men right i think it does make sense 
the kind of audience that he would be gathering by covering these kind of content yes i think it does make sense honestly like, this is an insane spread because like most dudes right they can only make videos that appeals to dudes i had like a 10 percent female spread but like to get that's just insane that to have that it's because like girls are just like the other half of the fucking audience right and most guys can't tap into it because they're just unrelatable Whoa, 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 I'm kidding, I'm kidding. As his comrades yap about whatever, he thinks to himself he doesn't really feel much about becoming a duke. However, that kind of changes when he realizes it'll be easier to find people if he becomes a noble. Okay. It also seems like he hasn't forgotten- Yo, this hand motion doesn't really look like a girl, like, trying to hug a guy and saying come back. It looks like she's trying to fucking choke him. Am I crazy? I feel like- the way it's drawn with the hand placement, like, put like this shit, looks like she wants to fucking choke him. He hasn't forgotten about Calliope, I, I, I forgot to mention her name, and him leaving wasn't so much as simple as him just abandoning her. Mm. Wait, in that what? case, if she warped him leaving as him abandoning her, does that mean she twisted the truth for these guys too? In Maybe. that case, I know exactly what these folks actually said. What? The girl. Instead of this, she wanted to let her know that even if they're not related biologically, she still considers her family. The mm -hmm. crown prince, he told her that he would never let her be sold off. That family- so She's actually deranged. She gaslit everybody? He sticks together- But he's making this up. And fat- He's not? Her um, I, I don't know. He was gonna cure diabetes or something. Okay. They were probably the nicest people that you'll find in the messed up no, world being that is medieval royalty, and she repaid their kindness with. <laughs> they finally make it to Calliope, and Ezekiel is ready to inherit the duke status. But little did he know, uh -oh. he was being played with from the start, as he's actually there to marry her. Calliope reveals to him that he was actually sold off by the Duke, and the Duke offered up the rest of his sons to her, and she didn't want to marry any of them. Okay. And then she kills them because she doesn't like them. And the cherry on top, if he doesn't marry her, she'll what kill his friends one by one until he agrees. I bet she would do that regardless. She sounds like the most evil villainous ever. What kind of Mexican cartel bloodlust does she have? Oh, this girl wait. crazy. She's the antagonist. How silly of me. Her actions are meant to be irredeemable. And by the end, our hero Ezekiel will stop her tyranny and the music is stopped again. I don't How think so. How am I wrong this time? There's zero chance that we're meant to root for her. I don't know. I, I feel like this story is literally creating like. Think about redo of healer. But if the guy was a girl now. It's not a one-to-one -one comparison, but the example I'm trying to bring up is there are dudes that self-insert themselves as the main character of Redo of Healer, and they enjoy it. And there are some elements shown in the show to kind of justify why he would want to pursue that kind of vengeance in a fucked up way. But shows like that exist. And I feel like this might be that kind of show for girls. Where they want to just go bananas and have a character that is so heinous, so ruthless, just... Just objectifying and doing whatever they want with a bunch of pretty boys. I, I think that's the entire point. Look at what she did. A and what's with the picture on screen? What do I not know? With little to no choice for him, he's forced to be married to Calliope. Right. As they're in the bedroom. <laughs> clack. Clack? Why are the sound bubbles clack? Shouldn't it be creaking? Clack, is there a horse in the room? Together, she pushes him aggressively onto the bed as she explains a bit of the history. Okay, the, the clack is the heels. Okay, I, I thought, I thought <laughs> there was emotion in the ocean already. His bloodline has projecting that history onto him. However, she goes quiet once he says her name and he seems to be genuinely happy to see her. However, that happiness is not reciprocated, hmm. and she is furious with him for, in her eyes, having abandoned her. He tries to explain his side of the story, and judging from a couple things, it seems like he really does have a good explanation. However, one glance of a ring on his finger was <gasps> all it took to seal- You slut, you have a ring on your fucking ring finger? You're cheating on me already before we got engaged or married? His fate as she refused-
Oh, it's like a, oh, it's like a church ring. Uses to hear his side of the story. Then she ties him up. She <laughs> she, she rips. <laughs> Like, yeah, this is a power fantasy for girls. It is. It's a power fantasy for girls to want to have a bunch of really super hot webtoon male characters just be treated like a piece of meat, bro. And also, maybe a power fantasy for some guys that do want to get treated like this by a villainous. It's his clothes off. No. There's no shot. Wait, wait, what would she say? What was the dialogue? Hold up, hold up, hold up. What would become of your dignity if the prince consort is feeble on the first night? Okay. No. There's no shot, right? I, I mean, there's supposed to be love interests, I, I think. So there's no- <laughs> I don't know. If I, if I look at this, this girl is looking to him like a fucking predator. And he looks frightened like a prey. This, this is the relationship. It's a predator and a prey situation. Look at this. It's like a fucking tiger looking at a little rabbit. I think. So there's no way. She says she prepared for everything. What did you prepare? Wait, so she Bill Cosby'd him? What? And then... Oh. <laughs> it's exactly what you think. Do you think that she also prepared his ass? Like, yo, if you don't clean down there, it's gonna get fucking messy. God. <laughs> like, like, how much details would they show? Are, are, are they showing full-on nudity in these shows? Is this like 18 plus webtoons? So, she... Did, yeah. Did, did she... I don't know. If she gets you in a room alone, prepare uh. to use every ounce of stamina those legs have and run! I was joking! What the... He has bruises. <laughs> what the hell happened? Bruises? Those, those are marks of affection. This is the price for abandoning you? What the f... Yeah. It's and like, again, some guys love that. They're like, oh, domestic abuse? Sign me up. And some girls really love this shit too. There is an audience for everything. All right, she's evil. She's the villain. That means that she'll eventually get what's coming to her. Ah, is this a story? Is this a story about justice to make this girl learn her lessons and to be corrected? I don't think so. I feel like we're just power fantasy. No lessons. Just abusing power. Just go to the next f All right, episode four. Kaliope getting married is the talk of the town as people are pondering the implications of this <laughs> Her Majesty finally got married! There used to be bloodshed every single day, but I suppose there'll be less of that. Yes, the only bloodshed that's gonna be happening is my man Ezekiel in the bedchambers every night. Marriage, and if there will be more peace. They do, however, feel bad for whoever she married, wondering who this man could be. So even the people who live in this verse feel bad for the guy. Yep. That means she's definitely the villain, right? Correct? Not necessarily. I don't think there needs to be a villain. I feel like she is the protagonist. That's it. It's just bad girl does bad things and get away with it. And it's an audience for that. Ezekiel is at a tea party, presumably to introduce himself to the elite and royalty of their kingdom, with one of them commenting that oh. Calliope must really like him as she gave him some- I want- Do you think that like other like royal queens and like other hot girls, nasty like girls, I'm just gonna assume everyone in this like show is this nasty, are gonna try to like take Ezekiel and like do the same thing onto him? And then Calliope finds out and she gets mad and she like kills her. Like like war like that. <laughs> it's just a bunch of dudes are just trying to take this boy toy away from Calliope. Valuable jewelry to wear. And it shows that one of these <laughs> Again. Wow. Amazing jewelry, man. Especially the dog collar you have on. This is actually a choker something, which she calls a wedding. Wedding ring? ring? I mean, look, look, look. I mean, shit. Didn't we do the same thing in Elf Bride? Right? Zagana and Nephi, but their relationship was not like this. 
and the slave collar. And that's even worse. That, she had a slave collar on. It was like all about reclaiming what was taboo and bad and owning up to it. Kind of like <laughs> reclaiming a slur and making it feel like you own it. So that I, you don all these things that's supposed to be bad, but it's like endearing. But I don't think this is the same shit here. Wait, why are you blushing? Surely this doesn't mean what I think it means. Oh, he likes it. Yep, Ezekiel likes being a good little boy for a Calliope and loves the collar. It's a sign of love, bro. It's a wedding ring. It's a wedding collar. It's <laughs> right? Y yeah, right there in Google. It says it can be done out of shame. And he's probably ashamed that he wasn't able to avoid this and it endangered the lives of his comrades. The party is interrupted with this guy telling Ezekiel that Calliope requests for him at once. We learned that this guy is actually the vice captain of the Noble Knights, whose okay. family has history with Calliope's mother, oh. as they remained loyal to her rather than the concubine. And since Calliope rose to power, and the two were presumably similar ages, it was assumed that they would marry. Mm. He wasn't interested. You got fucking lucky. Ezekiel took the bullet for him. But out of curiosity, he asked her about it. And never asked again. Jeez. Dude, don't feel hurt that she rejected you. I mean this with complete sincerity. You got lucky. You dodged a fat man sized bullet. The mere fact that she rejected. The art does look pretty. Not gonna lie. I just, okay, I don't know what the hell he's doing to stretch these fucking resolutions, but like the, what, the art before. The art style is pretty fucking good. Like it's eye candy. Rejected you should leave you with nothing but pure bliss. Anyway, he doesn't really like Ezekiel, as she took him, but not him himself. <laughs> she asks him if anyone has said anything out of line about his jeweler, to which he, <laughs> well, tells the truth. But of course, she doesn't accept that. And then she projects her fantasy onto him, saying- What the hell? This bitch knows that what she's doing is wrong, and Ezekiel says no made fun of me, but it's like, no, people were supposed to make fun of you, and then I'm supposed to kill that person. ...that he got married before leaving priesthood, to which he tries to explain, but this stupid wench isn't hearing him out. Then... Yeah. <sighs> what? Sh she wants to do it with him. <laughs> she's so crazy, bro. She just gets so fucking angry and heated up, and then it's time for action. And this time, she blackmails him by saying if he pleases her, she'll let him see his friends. Okay. Look, man, just give me a hint that she'll get what she deserves. Just a- I don't think so. I think it's a show about her getting what she wants and getting away with it. A hint is all I want. Oh, okay, so you're just gonna hint that he likes it. Mm. Just one more episode. Okay. After I skipped an unpleasant scene, we see Calliope meeting with one of her servants, checking out Ezekiel's precious ring. Another ring. I, I don't even know why she's doing any of this. Maybe just to the make herself ring. angry? That's legit the only thing I can think of since she doesn't ask him about any of this. She just looks and assumes. You know, communication can fix a lot of this. Well, so long as she's communicating behind bars. Then she asks the servant if they saw an amulet, which I would assume is something that represents their relationship when they were kids or something. Mm. Unfortunately, it was nowhere to be found, and that just feeds her some more evil energy, as if she needed any more. Then she visits the former concubine. Oh shit. Let's fight. Yo, concubine versus that girl. Let's go. Concubine of her late father, keeping her imprisoned in a crappy room, and the concubine isn't too happy. She then mocks her and then brings up yet another thing from her past, which what? is messed up, but see... So more scenes to kind of like justify everything Calliope does. I feel like we're trying to justify her actions. Yes. And this animal does not need justification. So that's it, huh? She's not a villain. She's supposed to be someone we root for. Not someone you root for. I just feel like, again, this is the example of redo of healer, but for girls. Not in this exact same way. Again, just having a just an insane fucking main character that does hate and shit and gets away with it. And sometimes there's like things that are so fucked up 
that what happened to them in the past, that it's just like little cheap ways to justify all the heinous shit that they're doing in the current timeline. And then we supposed to hope that they get together? I can see the writing on the wall, and it's telling me to get out before I regret the fact that I can read. So uh, we got still more of the video left. You're gonna read more chapter. So, you! When was the last time I had one this bad? Goodness gracious, man. I, I mean, I don't have to say why this one's bad, right? Regardless, let me point out why. First things first, writing-wise, it's a really boring story. The main protagonist, as much as I don't want to call her that, has won, so there's no journey. We don't see her rise to power, and the world itself is just bland steer- Yeah, it just feels like you've already finished the game and you're just fucking around. Just power fantasy. Just boy toy Ezekiel and you, just doing whatever you want. Typical kings and queens medieval land. Plus, it seems like it's trying to justify her bloodlusted actions because of yep. her backstory. Well, you can't make her too bad, right? It's just like, she's doing evil shit, but just have a little bit of things to justify what she's doing is right. It's not even to the point where you can understand it. She killed these guys because they made fun of her. Yeah. That'd be like hopping onto a Modern Warfare 2 lobby, waiting for anything negative to be thrown your way, and when all is said and done, pull out the death note. She also refuses to hear about anyone's side, just sees herself as the hero. Everything she does is justified. Everyone else is wrong. Even Ezekiel is wrong, no matter how many times he tries to explain himself, in her eyes, he's an evil liar that deserves her wrath. Hmm. That's it, right? I think I might be forgetting something. What, what? were they thinking? thinking? I know what they were thinking. They want to play into the degeneracy fantasies of both girls and guys. Guys that want to be treated like this and girls that want to treat them like this. This action has zero justification, so you would think that this would have consequences. Like, no, no, no. People are not reading this shit for some sort of actual story of, like, consequences and growing from it and becoming better. No, again, it's just we're parading around with their powers. That's it. Right? But no! Not only will everyone else not do anything because she's the king, queen, wh who freaking cares? But apparently, the writers thought it'd be a good idea for him to have liked it. To yeah. enjoy being- Yes. Why would you not have this guy like it? Of course you do. To kind of like make the girls be like, oh, you like that abuse? And then for the, and then for the guy audience to be like, yeah, mommy, I want you to dominate me more. Treated this way. In other words, the P diddler in a wig gets away with it. Mm -hmm. How is it possible that our... <laughs> what the fuck has this cover? These are some down bad covers, bro. What is this one called? Hwangnyoe Posok? Posokka? With it! I don't know, it just sounds like a woman just surrounded by a bunch of jewels, right? This is the Hwangnyo, and then these are the jewels, the Bosoks, I don't know. How is it possible that Ariana from the princess's jewels is more likable than you? Sure, no doesn't mean no for her when it comes to guys being a part of her kingdom and main commanders or whatever job they have. But she doesn't cross that line! Congratulations, the king and the paladin! Park ji -yun. This is definitely a Korean woman's name. You made me defend the princess's jewels! Your prize is a one-way ticket to Jupiter! Wait, but isn't Jupiter uninhabitable? Goodbye! Anyways, I am relieved to say that's gonna wrap up this video. All right. Thank you guys for watching this video in its entirety. If you guys like this video- That was a pretty interesting video. I've never seen Chalupa's video, unless maybe I have before, but give him a like. Check out his channel. Here's a link. But this, what I've learned from this video is that there's a lot of down bad webtoons with a specific intention of capturing the female audience and not just any type of female audience. The female audience, again, that wants to be like a main character from Redo of Healer to do heinous evil shit to just lash out and get vengeance, even if it's justified, and then to abuse handsome, just femboy, husbandos, webtoon boys, and then for the boys to then, like, get into it. The blushing, they're clearly pandering to both sides, right? Girls who wants to be her, 
and guys who want to be him. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Not every story has to play out in a way where there's like a moral theme of someone doing bad and getting corrected from the lessons and some sort of grand lessons to be learned. No, this is just exactly what it is. This lady, the author, Park ji is pandering to specifically that audience. She knows exactly what she's doing. And who are we to say that, you know, that's, that's wrong for you? It's just like, do whatever you want. If that's what the people want, the market will simply respond. But seeing as the uh, rating was, what was it? <laughs> a four? It's, it's a little bit higher than the furry one, right? But seeing as the rating has uh, been 404, I think the market has responded. And they've decided that this is just trash. But hey, maybe it could be entertaining trash. Maybe there's a lot of girls that want to self-insert them. Like her. And have a bunch of husbandos be around. That's it for me.